Indie titles are known for being quirky and imaginative, and with their latest title, developer Q Games further pushes that notion. With this, they borrowed a few ideas we've seen before, but put a whimsical spin on things. This is Nom Nom Galaxy, Q Games' latest addition to their Pixel Junk series. This 2D adventure will have you braving alien worlds, hunting for supplies, and taking down dangerous creatures, all, all, all for building soup factories. No. I'm not kidding. Hey gamers, what's going on? It's Akira Rhyming here from the Enthusiast Gaming Group, and today I'm presenting this review for PC enthusiast Nom Nom Galaxy. So, with this 2D side-scrolling action-adventure title, does Q Games' latest addition to their Pixel Junk series really live up to their prestige? Let's find out in this video review. In Nom Nom Galaxy, you take on the role of an employee, an employee of a giant soup corporation. That's right. Your sole duty is to go off to different planets and explore the area in search of materials to assemble soup factories and ingredients to create soups, which you then blast off to neighboring worlds filled with hungry customers, all while trying to do it as quickly as you can so you can steal Makache away from rival soup corporations. Wow. On paper, this may sound like the most ridiculous thing ever. Well, kinda is. Thankfully though, playing it is a different story. Nom Nom Galaxy takes cues from a few titles, and you may even recognize some. It didn't take me long to be reminded of Image and Form's Steam World Dig, as well as, but to a lesser extent, Relogic's Terraria. The art styles and gameplay are very similar to each other, however, it doesn't feel like a blatant copy of either title. Once you land on a new planet, your immediate objective is to find a suitable spot to build a new factory. In order to accomplish this though, you'll first need matter, which are blue orbs that are used to construct new objects. Is found just about everywhere. All you have to do is dig for it. This is where the cues from Steamroll Dig come in, as you'll find yourself digging up and down and all around. This is achieved by use of the buzz saw, an electric saw that can cut through soft terrain. Finding matter is one thing, but constructing your facility is another. Not only do you have to find a suitable spot, but you have to construct it sensibly so that it can be efficient. The amount of matter determines what parts you can buy. They're already pre-made, so all you have to do is purchase and place. There are several to choose from, things like corridors, conveyor belts, suit machines, struts, hoop rockets, and weapons. Seeing that you're battling against rival companies, the construction of this needs to happen as fast as possible. Once it's up and running, then it's time to hunt for soup ingredients. Both plants and creatures can be used as ingredients. Finding plants is simple enough, but creatures yield more points. However, they are also a lot harder to get. Each creature has a nest protected them, so getting just a single creature means you'll have to attack and defeat it while trying not to sustain too much damage from its friends. There's only one you, well, you and your fist and buzzsaw at least. Taking down a single creature is no cakewalk though. It can take several seconds to defeat just one while trying to avoid its friends. The combat here isn't tedious, but it does seem to drag out a lot longer than one would hope for. Once the deed is done though, you can finally bring your ingredients back to the factory, send them into the soup machine to be mixed into a giant can before popping it in a rocket to be blasted off to your hungry customers. Once that's done, it's back off into the wild to get more ingredients. If only that were your only problem. Given that you're competing with rival companies, they want to serve as much customers as possible, and you're stopping them from doing that. So what's their solution? Build more factories than you? Harvest the planet's resources before you can? No and no. How does launching a siege against your factory sound? Hmm. <laughs> Fun. That's right, not only do you have the headache of building and managing your soup factory, but you also have to defend it from occasional attacks by your rivals. You reach a point where you can outfit your factory with weapons, but early on, you can only rely on your good old Fist of Fury to get the job done. Nom Nom Galaxy is one grand mixture of a variety of genres. Real-time strategy fused with action and adventure, tower defense, and a hint of survival. This is where Terraria comes in. All of these different aspects combined with cues taken from other titles make for one interesting dish, just like a good soup. Yeah, I just had to. For the most part, it works. Because the game is so wacky, it actually helps keep things fresh. You can't really get bored with this game. There's just too much to keep track of. You're constantly on your toes searching for resources, and then boom, out of nowhere, you get an alert that your factory is under attack. The constant back and forth of search and defend will leave you more drained than bored, if anything. And that's a good thing. Outside of its wacky gameplay, Nom Nom Galaxy also sports an equally entertaining soundtrack as well as colorful, 
polished, cartoony visuals. This all helps add to the unorthodox atmosphere of the game that takes away all inclusive realism and replaces it with straight up sci-fi weirdness. All in all, this makes a great combination. Without a doubt, Nom Nom Galaxy is not your average game. It takes inspiration from different titles and merges different genres all into one out of this world package. It's colorful, funky, and straight up random, and that's what makes it work. When you're not hunting high and low for more resources to supply your ever-growing soup factory, you're battling against your rivals who take the phrase wipe out the competition a little bit too literally. This constant series of ever-changing events will keep you entertained, maybe even a bit frustrated, for quite a bit of time in each session. Combining different elements from different genres sometimes results in a game that's less than the sum of its parts. There are many games that have tried to do this where it didn't turn out too well. However, there are a few exceptions, and Nom Nom Galaxy is one of them. With familiar cues taken from other titles, as well as the mixture of elements from different genres, Q Games' latest addition to their Pixel Junk series is one unorthodox masterpiece. That's why I definitely think it's worthy of the score of a 9.5 out of 10, with my only real complaint being that things can get a little bit too chaotic at times. But other than that, it's one fine title. So with that said guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and make sure to check out the rest of the great content that we have, not just here on our YouTube channel, but of course on our sites at GamingEnthusiast.net. And also make sure to check out our sister sites at PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Enthusiasts. Nintendo Enthusiasts even has their own YouTube channel, so make sure you check out the massive amount of great content that we have there for you. Until next time guys, have a great one, and I'll see you guys later. Until next time, keep on gaming.